Del Mar College Commencement Ceremony Information. Congratulations, prospective graduate. Prospective because final grades are not yet officially posted, the registrar's office needs to verify completion of all requirements, awards are mailed to eligible graduates approximately six to eight weeks after the commencement ceremony. This presentation is to provide you with information and instructions about the location, information for your guests, and the guidelines for you as a ceremony participant. The commencement ceremony will take place in the Richardson Performance Hall, located on the west side of the East Campus. The front entrance faces Air Street. The Richardson Performance Hall has long been the traditional location for Del Mar College commencement ceremonies. The doors will open at 6 p.m. Entry into the auditorium will be paused during the processional while graduates pass through the hallway, 645 to 720. Please arrive early. In addition, guests arriving after 7 o'clock will be required to wait until after the color guard has completed the presentation of the colors to enter. Here is a map showing the location of the Memorial Classroom Building where the graduates will report, the Richardson Performance Hall where the ceremony will take place, and the Harvin Student Center where family-friendly overflow seating will be available to view a broadcast of the ceremony. It is important to note that seating is limited in the Performance Hall. Please note that the number of vouchers, tickets per graduate is based on the number of ceremony participants and the capacity of the Richardson Performance Hall. Here are some important points regarding the seating. All guests must have a ticket, including children. Children may not sit on laps in lieu of a ticket, be seated in a car or booster seat, or in strollers. All seating is general admission in both the balcony section and on the main floor. The tickets are separated by color, indicating the balcony or orchestra main floor sections. Seating is not assigned and seats cannot be saved. Dedicated seating is available for wheelchairs and companion seats. Additional guests may be granted admission based on available seating determined by on-site Richardson Performance Hall staff. Vouchers for tickets are provided to the graduates. Refer to the Graduate Information Center on Canvas for information on how, where, and when to redeem those vouchers. If you do not anticipate needing all of the vouchers provided to you, please return those unused vouchers to the box office when you collect your tickets so that they can be distributed to other graduates. It is important to know that these additional tickets are distributed on a first come first serve basis. If all seating in the Richardson Performance Hall is used, overflow seating will be available in the Rotama Room on the second floor of the Harvin Student Center located next door to the Richardson Performance Hall. This will also be a family friendly overflow environment. Other options for viewing the ceremony include live webcast and cable television broadcast. The commencement ceremony will be streamed live over the Delmar College website. A link to access the stream will be available on the Delmar College homepage, www.delmar.edu, 15 minutes before the ceremony. The ceremony will also be broadcast by local cable channels beginning at 7 p.m. Grande Channel 19, Spectrum Channel 1301, AT&T under the Channel 99 selection menu. Prohibited items in the Richardson Performance Hall. For the safety of all guests, graduates, and employees, the following items are not permitted in the Richardson Performance Hall. A full listing of prohibited items is also available on the Graduation Information Center Canvas course. Prohibited items include strollers, car seats, chairs, stools, and other seating devices are not allowed. Adult walkers and scooters are not allowed to be stored within the seating area. Animals accept service animals to aid guests with disabilities. Tripods, monopods, and selfie sticks for cameras are not allowed within the auditorium seating area. Cameras with detachable lenses or lenses longer than three inches when extended. Video cameras are recording devices. This includes GoPro devices. Guests are not allowed to bring in food and beverages within the facility. Exceptions will be made for those with medical requirements and or special needs. Also prohibited are alcohol, flasks, bottles, cans, and beverage containers of any kind. Tobacco of any kind and electronic cigarettes, large purses or backpacks, large hats or signs, sealed packages of any kind, balloons including those that are helium filled, air filled, or deflated. Inflatable objects such as footballs, beach balls, and the like, laser pointers or laser pens, noisemakers, poles, sticks, or rods of any kind, posters and signs, firearms, knives or multi-tools, mace or any other type of pepper or tear gas, metal chains, 
Costumes that include items that are considered dangerous, such as nunchucks, pitchforks, sling blades, axes, swords, whips, nooses, and the like. Swords, either plastic or metal. And finally, no remote-controlled vehicles, including cars and unmanned aircraft, drones, are authorized to operate on Richardson Performance Hall property. At the end of the ceremony, all guests are asked to remain seated until all of the graduates have exited the auditorium. This will keep the path clear for the graduates to pass. Information for graduates. What do I wear is a common question for commencement. To participate in the ceremony, you must be in the standard academic regalia for Del Mar College. Caps and gowns can be purchased from the Del Mar College bookstore in the Harvin Center. It is recommended that you try on the gown before leaving the bookstore. Refer to the Graduation Information Center in Canvas for more information on purchasing your regalia. When putting on the cap, remember that the tassel hangs on the right. After the ceremony, you will move it to the left to signify that you have left college. Cap decorations are permitted, but they must be flat and secured to the hat. The content must also be family friendly. In other words, please be appropriate. Please wear appropriate clothing beneath your gown. Remember that your image will be forever preserved in photographs, digital images, and in cable television broadcast. Be aware that there's a lot of standing and walking. Please wear appropriate shoes. Please do not bring large purses, bags, or other personal items. You will not have a place to leave those items during the ceremony, and you will not be returning to the Memorial Classroom Building after the ceremony. A small crossbody purse that can be worn beneath your gown or a clothing item with pockets is recommended. If you are a military veteran, active duty service member, a member of a national or international honor society, or a Viking volunteer, you need to make arrangements with your organization's advisor to get any commencement regalia at a minimum one week prior to the commencement ceremony. Please allow your advisor enough time to order any needed items. Latin honors cords are provided to the graduates by the college. If you are an honors graduate, please know that because final grades for the semester have not yet been submitted and verified, honor status is determined based on your GPA from the last full semester, excluding summer. The honors distinctions are cum laude with praise, GPA of 3.5 to 3.7, magna cum laude with great honor, GPA of 3.8 to 3.9, summa cum laude with highest praise, GPA of 4.0. When do graduates have to arrive? Graduates will report to the Memorial Classroom Building located next to the Richardson Performance Hall no later than 5.45 p.m. to check in and begin lining up for the processional. Report to room 122 to receive your name card and photo order form. If you are an honors graduate, cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude, you will receive your honors cord also. Be sure to verify that everything on your card is correct before you leave the room. If corrections are necessary, have the staff make those changes when you pick up the card. Do not write on your card. Nothing that is handwritten on the card will be read in the ceremony. It is very important that you protect your card. Your name card is what the orator will use to announce you during the ceremony. The back of that card is the order form for your graduation photo. Pencils will be provided in MC-122 to fill out the order form. Please do not lose, roll, bend, fold, or write on this card. Know that honor societies and campus service organizations are not announced. Those are listed in the printed program. After receiving your card, proceed to the section in the hallway where the sign for your department is posted. Your card will indicate the designated department. If you are receiving multiple degrees from different departments, select one with which to line up. All of your awards will be announced from your card. You do not have to line up alphabetically as long as you stay within the department grouping. While you are lining up, the order for the ceremony will be walking the hallway to double-check name pronunciations. Here is what to expect as you prepare to enter the ceremony. The graduates will enter the ceremony by divisions and departments, with each departmental group being escorted by a member of the faculty. Those departments in the division of Business, Industrial, and Public Safety Education will enter first, followed by the division of Health Sciences and Professional Education, the final division to enter the ceremony will be Arts and Sciences. At approximately 6.40, the graduates will begin lining up two by two to walk from the Memorial Classroom Building over to the Richardson Performance Hall. As you enter the Performance Hall, you will walk through a receiving line of Del Mar College faculty who are also participating in the ceremony. Please know that not all faculty will be there. Del Mar College holds three commencement ceremonies a year and faculty members each participate in one. 
At the end of the faculty line is the entrance to the ceremony. Please know that once you enter the doorway, you are on camera. The commencement ceremony will begin promptly at 7 p.m. It will include the processional, the presentation of the colors, the national anthem, and the Delmar College alma mater. Comments from the college president, the commencement speaker, the presentation of awards, and the recessional. As you enter the performance hall, you will remain in the 2x2 two two formation, and there will be ushers to guide you to your seats. Please follow the directions of the ushers to make this process flow smoothly and quickly. Once you reach your seat, please sit down. This will help the ushers know when a row is full. At the beginning of the ceremony, the presentation of colors will be conducted by the color guard. In addition, the national anthem and the Delmar College alma mater will be performed. Men are asked to remove their non-religious headgear. Everyone is asked to remain standing until the color guard has exited the performance hall. At the conclusion of the president's remarks and the commencement speaker's presentation, all graduates will be instructed to rise as the president confers the awards. Afterwards, please be seated until your row is asked by the ushers to rise and come forward. You will come onto the stage at the order station. The ushers will guide you in this step. Please watch your step as you climb the stairs. Hand the order your card with your name facing up. Please do not start walking until the order starts reading your card. The order may ask for assistance with pronouncing your name. It helps to whisper your name as you hand over your card. As you cross the stage, you will first receive a diploma tube from your academic dean. Know this tube will contain a letter from the president, but not your diploma. This is because your degree will not be finalized until all grades are submitted and requirements verified. Your actual diploma will be mailed within six to eight weeks after the ceremony. When receiving the tube, reach for it with your left hand and shake the dean's hand with your right. After receiving the tube, you will walk over and shake the president's hand. If the order is still reading your card, please remain with the president until the reading is completed. Remember that the photographer is also taking a photo of you shaking hands with the president. There may also be a member of the Board of Regents who wants to shake your hand as you continue across the stage. At the end of the stage, you will receive an item from the Alumni Association representative and then proceed to the photographer station. After taking your photo, you will return to the graduate seats. Please know that this may not be the same seat where you started. After the last graduate has returned to the seating area, the president will instruct everyone to move their tassels from the right to the left. As the recessional music is played, you will be directed by the ushers to proceed out of the auditorium in the same 2x2 two two formation as when you entered. Please continue through the hallway and outside the building to make room for those exiting behind you. Here are some final reminders for graduates. Please continue to monitor announcements from the Graduation Information Center in Canvas. Redeem your ticket vouchers before the day of graduation. Arrive at 5.45 p.m. and report to MC122. Guests can start arriving at 6 p.m. The ceremony starts promptly at 7 p.m. Wear the Delmar College Academic Regalia, cap, gown, and any earned honors regalia. Wear appropriate clothing beneath your gown. Remind your guests of the Richardson Performance Hall policies. Congratulations on your achievement. We look forward to seeing you at the commencement ceremony. For additional questions, please contact the Delmar College Registrar's Office at 361-698-1248 or via email to graduation at delmar.edu.